The Vertical Diet is a program that is simple both to do and to follow. It is selective but not overly restrictive. The author Stan Efferding, world's strongest pro bodybuilder, recommends nutrient-dense foods that will help your cravings, boost your energy, and reduce your digestive stress. There are no secrets and no shortcuts, but this book shows you the path of least resistance towards success. After all, the best diet is the one you'll follow. What's truly amazing is that the vertical diet can be tailored to fit your specific needs, if you're eating plant-based, keto, or fasting, for example. At Read & Grow, we believe that books can change your life. Whatever your situation is, someone out there has gone through the same and shared the lessons in a book. Subscribe and join us on our quest to solve problems one book at a time. Stan Efferding admits that there are many paths to the same destination. All diets work, but people usually fail due to lack of compliance. That's why it's important that nutrition and lifestyle solutions are simple, sensible, and sustainable. The vertical diet increases your chances of compliance by emphasizing several often overlooked components of a diet. Sodium intake, the importance of iodine, the benefits of fruit and red meat, and the absolute necessity of sleep. Fundamental Principles of the Vertical Diet 1. Sleep Optimization – At Least 7 Hours a Night 2. Regular Blood Tests 3. Nutrition 4. Cardio and Resistance Training Sleep Sleep is a make-or-break factor when it comes to success with diet and performance. The more and better you sleep, the more efficient your metabolism, the more muscles you build, the more fat you burn, and the stronger you get. To learn how to practice good sleeping hygiene, watch our summary of Sleep Smarter by Sean Stevenson. Blood Work The Vertical Diet highly recommends getting a blood test to get an idea of what deficiencies you may have that need to be addressed and corrected. Blood tests can be used as a tool to help improve performance and monitor overall health and wellness. The good news is that the majority of the issues identified by a blood test can be remedied simply by improving sleep, losing weight, changing your diet, and exercising regularly. Nutrition The vertical diet calls for foods that are nutrient-rich and easy to digest to minimize bloating, gas, and other digestive distress. Here is a list of high-quality foods to include in your diet. Red meat fatty fish, eggs, bone broth, salt, white rice, potatoes, spinach, bell peppers, carrots, oranges, berries, cranberry juice, almonds. The author's advice is to count calories and measure portions. Create a calorie surplus or deficit or stick to a maintenance plan to reach your goals. Research suggests that when you control for calories and protein, adjusting your fat and carb intake up or down has no measurable effect on weight loss. This means that whether you eat high fat and low carb or low fat and high carb is a matter of personal preference. Protein is a key macronutrient you'll want to have in every meal. Your body can't store protein, so you have to continually ingest it throughout the day. The Vertical Diet recommends proteins like red meat, salmon, and eggs, which include plenty of iron, creatine, and B vitamins. Dairy is also a good protein source for those who can tolerate it. Although chicken and turkey are okay, they are not as nutrient-rich as red meat. Avoid processed vegetable or seed oils such as canola, corn, cottonseed, soybean, safflower, and sunflower oils. These highly palatable, ultra-processed, low-nutrient-density foods are easy to overconsume and lead to obesity. When cooking, use butter or ghee, beef tallow, or avocado oil. Avoid sugar alcohols like erythritol, malitol, mannitol, sorbitol, or xylitol. Sugar alcohols are neither sugar nor alcohol. They are carbohydrates that are incompletely absorbed and metabolized in your system and therefore contribute fewer calories to your diet than standard sugars. Since they ferment in your large intestine, they produce gas and discomfort in some people and a laxative effect in others. Micronutrients Micronutrients, while less lauded than macronutrients, are just as important for optimal health and well-being. The Vertical Diet focuses on these micronutrients. Iodine stimulates the thyroid and boosts immunity. Good sources of iodine are eggs, unsweetened cranberry juice, and iodized salt. Potassium is crucial for the electrolyte balance. Good sources of potassium are red meat, potatoes, tomatoes, and spinach. Iron is an essential component of hemoglobin. Red meat is the best source of bioavailable iron. Calcium is important not only for healthy bones, but also for blood pressure regulation. 
Dairy is a powerhouse of naturally occurring nutrients including calcium, potassium, vitamins D, and K. If you can't drink milk, try Greek yogurt. If you can't tolerate Greek yogurt, try hard cheese. If you can't tolerate dairy at all, try canned bone-in salmon, sardines, and powdered eggshell. Sodium. Though it's often vilified, sodium, aka salt, is an important electrolyte and is needed for optimal health. Sufficient salt intake is variable based on temperature, humidity, sweat rate, workload, and general condition of the person. A healthy diet low in processed and packaged food can include a pinch or two of salt on meals. Salting your meals can enhance performance, boost metabolism, and improve recovery. Vertical Workout Components Everyone, no matter their fitness level, should incorporate all these protocols into their weekly schedule. Cardio 10-Minute Walks Steady-state cardio is what most people are familiar with, activity done with low intensity for a longer duration of time. But unless you are a distance runner, this should not be your jam. It sends the wrong message to your body when you're trying to maintain lean body mass. Instead, do two to four brisk 10-minute walks each day after a meal. These walks improve insulin sensitivity, decrease gas and bloating, improve digestion, and aid in recovery. Resistance training is the best way to build and preserve muscle tissue, increase your metabolism, improve blood sugar, strengthen bones, and decrease all-cause mortality. High-intensity interval training, or HIT, is a fast and effective workout that improves cardiovascular health. With HIT, you alternate between intervals of intense exercise and intervals of rest. It can be done using just about any equipment you can think of. Stability training. Having a strong core is integral to success with any workout program and for daily life activities. Having a strong core can also reduce or eliminate back pain. Days off and active recovery. One thing that most people don't understand is that you don't actually grow muscle in the gym, you break it down. Muscle is built during your recovery period, and if you don't adequately rest, you will not build any muscle and may even lose it. But don't spend all rest and recovery days couch surfing. Stay on your feet, take your 10-minute walks, go for a hike, or take your kids to the park to get your body moving and blood circulating. If you're interested in the topic of health and dieting, make sure to check our summaries of The Primal Blueprint by Mark Sisson and The Longevity Paradox by Stephen Gundry. Thank you for watching.